Have you ever heard of Mushk Budiji rice? In the lofty reaches of the Kashmir Valley, a unique aromatic rice grows. This is Mushk Budiji rice. Its unique charm lies in its harmonious blend of taste, aroma, and rich organoleptic properties. Imagine a grain of rice that doesn't just satiate your hunger, but also offers a sensory experience that's both delightful and memorable. The cultivation of this exceptional rice is concentrated mainly in the areas of Sagam, Panskam, and Soaf Shali of district Anantnag. Each grain is a testament to the rich, fertile lands of these regions and the dedicated farmers who nurture them. This unique rice isn't just a culinary delight, it's a symbol of the region's rich cultural heritage and agricultural prosperity. It's a testament to the unique geography and climate that enable its growth. This exclusive rice is more than just a grain, it's a significant part of Kashmiri culture. Did you know that Mushk Budiji rice is not an everyday meal? This aromatic grain grown in the serene heights of the Kashmir Valley is a delicacy reserved for the most special of occasions. Its bold aroma and rich taste have made it a star attraction at weddings, festivals, and other grand celebrations in the region. But there's more to this rice than meets the palate. This unique variety has been awarded a geographical indication tag, a mark of its exclusivity and testament to its deep-rooted connection with the lands of Sagam, Panzgam, and Sofshali in the Anantnag district. This tag not only certifies its geographical origin but also protects it from imitations, ensuring that when you taste Mushkabudiji rice, you're experiencing a piece of Kashmir's rich culinary heritage. So the next time you find this aromatic rice on your plate, remember, a plate of Mushkabudiji rice is a celebration in itself. Ever wondered what makes Mushkabudiji rice so aromatic? Well, it's a question that piqued the curiosity of scientists too. They embarked on a fascinating journey to unravel the science behind the scent of this unique rice variety grown in the lofty altitudes of the Kashmir Valley. The researchers used a technique known as gas chromatography mass spectroscopy, or GCMS for short, coupled with a device playfully referred to as an electronic nose. The GCMS is an analytical method employed to delve deep into the essence of the rice, to reveal the volatile compounds present in the organic mix extracted from the rice grains. Meanwhile, the electronic nose is a device that mimics the human olfactory system, detecting and distinguishing between complex odors. The meticulous study revealed something quite intriguing. It identified a total of 35 volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, in the Mushk Budiji rice samples. These VOCs contribute to the unique aroma of the rice. Let's delve a bit deeper into this scientific method. Chromatography mass spectroscopy, also known as GCMS, sounds like quite the mouthful, doesn't it? But don't worry, we're going to break it down so it's as easy to understand as your favorite recipe. Imagine you're baking a cake. You've got flour, sugar, eggs, butter, and a few other ingredients. Each of these components brings something unique to the final product, right? Well, that's a bit like how chromatography mass spectroscopy works. It's an analytical method used to segregate and identify the various ingredients or volatile compounds within an organic mixture. These mixtures could come from geological samples like rocks and minerals, environmental samples like air or water, or biological samples like our aromatic mushk budiji rice. Now let's break down the process. The chromatography part is like a race. The organic mixture is vaporized and travels through a column. Different compounds move at different speeds, so they reach the finish line at different times. This separation allows us to identify what compounds are present. Now, onto the mass spectroscopy part. This is where we weigh the compounds. Once separated, these compounds are bombarded with electrons, causing them to break apart. The fragments, each with a specific mass, create a pattern that can be used to identify the original compound. Think of it as a unique fingerprint for each compound. In the case of the Mushk Budiji rice, scientists use GCMS to identify 35 volatile organic compounds, including a special aromatic compound called acetyl-1-pyroline found only in samples collected from higher altitudes. So in essence, 
Chromatography mass spectroscopy is a bit like a detective, unraveling the mysteries hidden within organic mixtures. It helps us understand why our beloved Mushk Budiji rice has its unique aroma, enhancing our appreciation for this delightful grain. Science can truly enhance our appreciation for the simple pleasures in life, like a bowl of aromatic rice. So, what have we learned about Mushk Budiji rice? Well, we ventured into the high reaches of the Kashmir Valley to discover this short, bold, aromatic rice that boasts a harmonious blend of taste, aroma, and rich organoleptic properties. We've learned that it's a delicacy reserved for special occasions, marriages, and festivals in Kashmir, and has earned a deserved geographical indication tag. We dived into the science behind the scent, where scientists used gas chromatography mass spectroscopy and an electronic nose to study the flavor profile. We found out that they identified 35 volatile organic compounds in the rice samples with acetyl 1-pyroline, a known aromatic compound present only in samples from higher altitudes. And we've explored chromatography mass spectroscopy, an analytical method revealing the presence of volatile compounds in organic mixtures extracted from various samples. Next time you savor a spoonful of aromatic rice, remember the fascinating journey of Mushk Budiji rice from the fields of Kashmir to your plate.